Good evening now and thanks so much for being with us. We're beginning tonight in Lexington County. That's where a jury returned a guilty verdict today against Thomas McDowell. He's the man who was on trial for the kidnapping and murder of four year old Jessica Gutierrez. The little girl was taken from her family's home in 1986 and her body has never been found. As a result of the guilty verdict today, McDowell getting life in prison. Our Rachel Ripp covered the trial all week. She joins us in studio now with more details. Rachel. After three days of testimony, the jury got this case around 1.15 this afternoon and took roughly two hours to reach their verdict. The state spent the week trying to connect McDowell to this crime, and in the end, the jury sided with the state's version of events. Relief in court from the family of Jessica Gutierrez as the guilty verdict against her killer, Thomas McDowell, came down. From McDowell, little emotion as he learned his fate. Hours earlier in closing arguments from the state, prosecutors focused on what they called key pieces of evidence. The first was Thomas McDowell's fingerprint on a window pane of the Gutierrez home, which they said was a match. The second was the defendant's change in appearance from long hair, a long beard and cowboy hat to cut hair, a shaven beard and no hat after Jessica was taken. This, they said, was important because the only witness to the crime, Jessica's sister Rebecca, said the kidnapper was wearing a magic hat back when she was six years old. And finally, a former cellmate of McDowell's said McDowell confessed about kidnapping and killing a four-year-old girl while the two were in jail in North Carolina. The defense, though, said there was a lack of hard evidence linking him to the crime, as well as changing stories from witnesses, including Jessica's sister, Rebecca. They said that McDowell, who was an ex-boyfriend of Jessica's mother, had no ill will toward the Gutierrez family. But after a short deliberation, the jury found him guilty. Moments later, he was in an orange prison jumpsuit. After today's verdict, Deborah Gutierrez, Jessica's mother, spoke to members of the media about how there's finally justice for her daughter. I have waited for this day 38 years. It's been, uh, Jesse turned 42 December 3rd of this past year. And uh, I feel really blessed that the jury made the right decision because we took a bad man off the streets. This puts a close on a case that was a notorious unsolved cold case in Lexington County that the community followed for decades. Investigators had announced in 2021 they were looking into the case again. Months later, they made an arrest. And now, two years after that arrest, Thomas McDowell is guilty of that killing. Rachel Ripp, News 19, WLTX. All right, Rachel, thank you so much. By the way, the judge has not given a sentence yet to McDowell for the kidnapping conviction. We'll keep you updated on that when we learn more information both on air and online at WLTX.com.